Slipped up femoral epiphysis and Perthes disease are two conditions that affect the hip joint in children. They can be quite confusing to tell apart because they do present relatively similarly. However, there are a few uh, nuances that are worth uh, learning about to help you uh, tell these conditions apart when you're answering exam questions. So they both present with a gradual onset of a limp. Uh, there can be pain in the hip itself or pain referred to the knee. And there's usually pain on internal rotation and abduction. Slipped upper femoral epiphysis is a condition in which you get a fracture through the growth plates of the head of the femur, meaning that that top part of the head of the femur will slip relative to the rest of the femur. Uh, so it's sort of like an ice cream cone kind of appearance. It looks a bit like this. It tends to usually present in 10 to 15 year olds and it's associated with a few conditions. So obesity is one of them and then other endocrine abnormalities which may in turn be associated with obesity such as hypothyroidism and hypogonadism. It's managed by internal fixation to try and realign these two components of the femur. Perthes disease is a condition in which you get avascular necrosis of the femoral head and hence it looks a little bit like this where anatomically everything is okay it's just that there is some avascular necrosis going on within the femoral head. It presents in slightly younger children, so usually 5 to 10 year olds, and a couple of associations are short stature and also hyperactivity. Uh, so for example, patients may uh, be mentioned as having a background of ADHD. A lot of the time it's just treated conservatively with analgesia and mobilization, however surgery may also be performed in certain cases. Music